All right, YouTube, listen up. Off-Road Yo-Yo here with another video review. This time, I'll be reviewing a new Yo-Yo by Yo-Yo Empire. It's currently on sale at a website called Toybania. So type in toybania.com and it will load a website. And on that website, you can buy this, the Ting. The Ting is a limited release currently only available on the Toybania website. It's named the Ting because these rims on the outside are made of titanium. You can get a black Ting or a white Ting. I don't care, just get the one that you want. The first thing you'll notice, or at least the first thing I noticed, is that this yo-yo is round as hell. I mean, look at it. Sure, all yo-yos are pretty round, this one's like super round. It's round on the silvery part, and then it's round on this black part, and then it's round again on the blue part in the middle. That's like roundness, inside roundness, inside roundness. It's kind of like that movie Inception, except unlike the movie Inception, this yo-yo won't get all artsy fartsy on you near the end and confuse you for the rest of the day. The ting has kind of an H shape. You can tell it's an H shape because the, the the pictures on the internet that I found look closest to the H one. The cool thing about this particular shape is that it's got this good phalange canal right there. You can put your middle finger right there in that canal and it's very comfortable. It can just sit there. Sometimes I just walk around holding it just like this. And if people wonder what I'm doing, I don't tell them because it's not their business. Another thing you'll notice about the Ting are the metal rims. The body of the yo-yo is actually plastic. And then these metal rings give it extra kick. And not just a little extra kick, actually a lot of kick. Because these rims are made of titanium. As you can see from the wear on these rims, I have been trying quite hard to spark it a whole, whole bunch. I've succeeded a couple times, but it was never as impressive as I was expecting. In my mind's eye, I was picturing showering sparks like a welder working on a piece of metal, but it wasn't like that at all. It was more like a little lighter that wouldn't quite light, so you flick it, and you flick it, and you flick it, and you flick it. It was kind of like that. Oh, don't tell my wife though, the best place to spark this is actually on the tile kitchen floor. Wife's not home, wife's not home. The ting strikes me as quite big and kind of heavy too, at least on paper, but when you throw it, all that weight disappears. It's quite light, and dare I say floaty. I don't like to use the word floaty when describing yo-yos though, because I'm worried that someone will hear that and then tie a bunch of yo-yos to their toddler and throw them in a swimming pool expecting them to float, because that's what floaties are, balloons you put on a kid, not a yo-yo. I don't want that kind of responsibility. So the word I'm going to use, okay, floaty is fine. You can really notice the floatiness when you do hardcore tricks like the pinwheel. The floatiness is also noticeable when you bust out a hot queege. I'll be perfectly honest. I wasn't expecting a whole lot when I bought the Ting. It's fairly inexpensive, being under $50, and the whole plastic plus titanium thing kind of sounded like a gimmick. I was expecting to get a cheap beater that would last a couple of weeks and maybe throw some sparks in the meantime and then I'd put it away and never think about it again. What I actually got was a super fun, super smooth, long spinning, fun machine that I can't put down that yeah, we'll throw sparks in the kitchen when your wife's not around. Wife's not home. One last thing I'd like to talk about is the blue circle in the middle. It's no ordinary blue circle. It's actually a dent. A dent made for fingertips. Sure, you can go ahead and tap it like this with your finger. Do it all day long. I don't care. If you think it feels good, I'm not gonna stop you. But you have to admit, it doesn't accomplish much. What this dent is intended for is finger spinning, which as I'll demonstrate, I am entirely incapable of actually doing. And I toss it up. And see, that wasn't even fair. The yo-yo cheated. It knows that I'm no good. Thanks.